what's up guys Chris here again and we are back at it with another POI breakdown but today it's actually a landmark breakdown we are going to rainbow rentals had you guys there didn't I had you guys so we're coming over here to rainbow rentals and you guys are about to see why so rainbow rentals sits all the way to the far end of the map so let me show you guys where it sits on the map right back in this area all by itself off the coast right here zoom in on it real fast for you guys right there a lot of people when they're coming here will usually either land at holly hedges you'll get some people that land at the eog hangar but rainbow rentals doesn't get a a whole lot of activity guys I've landed here a couple times during some solo arenas i um, landed here during a couple of the actual cash cup tournaments um, and then I've came here through rotations just with my squad but it's actually a pretty decent place for, so for the first house here the red one over on the uh, west side there's not really much in here besides floor loot guys you know chests farm up some material but you have your first chest here in the back of the truck so as soon as you land, you can land at this one. Again, second house here, not much. So, you know, right now you guys are probably thinking, man, you said this was a good place and I'm not really seeing anything. Okay? And I get it, guys. And that's where it tricks a lot of people. They hit that one with the truck and they're like, oh my gosh, there's nothing here. So you got your second chest here. Some more floor loot. Come on into your fourth house. What's that? Another chest sitting right in that roof area. Then you run out this door. Oh, hey! We got another little chest sitting here. So two chests to this spot on this one little greenhouse, guys. Which is pretty good for... I mean, look how tiny this house is. You know? This is like a single wide trailer. Not even that, because it's just like a living room. This is one of those, like, houses that are in the show where, like, the bed pops out of the wall and the kitchen's right here and the bathroom, like, pulls out of this wall or something. But, yeah. Two chests in that house. And you come on over to the blue one. It's got some floor loot in here. Now, another good thing about the spot is usually it has about two or three fishing things. So, there's the one. There's the two. There's the three. Oh, this one has four this time. It'll always have the fishing poles right here. So yeah, guys, I really like coming over here because especially in the solo um, arenas and the cash cup competitions, you usually want to go to a place that doesn't have a whole lot of people going crazy at it. So the five houses here, you have all the wood that you need. Going to have some brick kind of around by the stuff on the beach. But a great place to go right after this is just head on up to the EOG hangar. Again, you might have had a person land there, but maybe not. A lot of people tend to veer off and hit holly hedges. They don't really come out this far because sometimes you can't have a long rotation. So then to the EOG hangar, you got a chest sitting down here in this area. A lot of brick stuff to farm up. Remember, you can hit these bags for brick too. And then, of course, the hangar itself is going to have a lot of metal things in it. But you have a chest sitting up there. So you can either build up or just break this down. So that's two chests to the EOG hangar. And then you got your three chests, or your third chest right here. See the top area. So then you got three chests to the EOG hangar, which is pretty good. Some more wood because of the trees. The fence, remember to harvest this fence, guys. Obviously, we're in creative, so it's jacking up the metal that you get from that. But you get a lot of metal from those fences. So again, guys, when you're coming off the bus to Rainbow Rentals, you're going to want to pass the EOG station. Again, it's all going to depend on your bus line. Head on down. This is your best line of attack, I, I, me personally, I think. Come into the greenhouse. Knock the chest that was up there. So chest number one. Jump down. Chest number two. Head into the yellow home. Chest number three. Head out to the truck. Chest number four. Obviously looting the whole time and then head on up to the EOG station EOG hangar So four chests right there at rainbow rentals make this quick little run up here to the EOG hangar Then you're gonna be sitting at once you get into this building here 
your fifth chest. Brick and stuff that you can get from there. Six chests sitting on top of the storage rack. Seventh chest up the stairs, sitting right in the corner. Again, in this place, you will usually have a workbench. Sometimes you don't. You know, most of the time you do, though. I believe those are random spawns. They might be all the time spawns, though. But yeah, a nice little spot, guys, on the map. We'll kind of zoom into it. Again, I always suggest landing at Rainbow and Rentals. You can go EOG Hangar to Rainbow Rentals, but Rainbow Rentals gives you one more chest compared to the EOG and a little bit area to harvest faster and a lot more floor loot. Plus, remember, down on the coastline, we have fishing spots, and you will have the fishing pole right by the rocks. And then once you hit those houses, head on up to the EOG hangar. Get the three chests in the EOG hangar. Harvest some more material. Or start in the EOG hangar. Get your three chests. Work on down the here. So remember, the first house you want to hit on the map, it's this one here. It's the basically second house from the right. That one has the two chests on it, one on the inside roof area, and then the one underneath the uh, back deck location. Move on into the next house sitting right next to it. That's going to have the one chest in it as well. From there, hit the truck that's on the outside for some metal and your fourth chest. Hopefully you're harvesting that whole time in there because there's going to be you know that fair amount of wood in that location. Fish on after if you want. Then head on up to that EOG hangar to get a, the three chests in there, all the metal that you need. Again, guys, nice little kind of quiet, secluded area of the times that I've landed in these two locations. Again, I'm going to combine them into really one Rainbow Rentals and EOG hangar. I've maybe had a total of three people come here, and that wasn't at one time. That was, you know, one person, one match, one person, the next match, one person, the next match, because a lot of people will veer off and hit over here to Holly Hedges. And if you want to know more about Holly Hedges, check out my POI breakdown of Holly Hedges. But today, guys, we tackled Rainbow Rentals and EOG Hangar. Again, a great spot for you to land during your solo arenas, during your tournaments, because it's right off the side. You can get a lot of stuff harvested and again if you're able to hit all of these with no one landing with you seven total chests to you with the workbench then you can always rotate on over to this area here but from these houses and the eog hangar i think you guys are gonna be sitting pretty let me know if you guys land here how you come out I'd really like to hear what your guys experience of it is um if there's another rotation path that you guys like to take on the two let me know but yeah today was your breakdown of rainbow rentals and of EOG Hanger. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe guys, and as always, don't get lost to the storm.